Before using views, we have to install and set up the view package. But since we selected the web application boilerplate when creating our application, the view package has been installed and set up for us. As we have seen from previous lessons, all views are stored inside the resources slash views directory and each view file must have the .edge extension. Edge is Adonis JS templating engine and like most templating engines, Edge uses a mustard-like syntax that is double curly braces for interpolation. Let's define a variable we can make use of. The name of the variable will be name and the value will be chimese inaya. Set here is called a tag in Edge. We will learn more on tags as we progress in the course. Now we can display the variable using the curly braces. Let's save and view in the browser. We are not limited to displaying just variables. In fact, we can write almost any valid JavaScript expression inside the curly braces, which can even span multiple lines. By default, the output of the curly braces is escaped to prevent XXS attacks. That is, this will be escaped. Refresh this. As we can see, the paragraph tag is escaped. In cases where we would want to display the raw output, we can make use of the triple curly braces instead. That is, this will not be escaped. Also, we can instruct Edge not to process the content inside the curly braces by prefixing it with the at symbol. Let's duplicate this and preface it with the at symbol. As you can see, it is completely ignored by Edge. This can be useful when using front-end frameworks like Vue.js and wants Vue.js to process it instead. Out of the bus, Edge has support for conditionals, loops, components, layouts, and partials, which we will see how to make use of in subsequent lessons in this course.